Vivo X70 The Next Image Remaster is here. Oh, ito na ating pinamagandang camera phone na pwede mong bilhin ngayong 2021. In partnership with Zeiss, the Vivo X70 is equipped with the latest and greatest in camera technology. Kung hindi mo pa alam, no, si Zeiss ay isang German camera and lens maker. Regarded as one of the best in terms of camera quality. But yes, hindi ito yung first Vivo phone to get the Zeiss treatment. That would be the Vivo X60, yung one of my favorite phones of 2021, released earlier this year. At kung napanood mo yung review video on that phone, nako, there will always be that cell phone look to it, no? Masasabi mo na, parang kinuha pa rin sa cell phone yan. Oo. Well, that was true sa mga lumang phones ni Vivo. Pero nung pumasok si Zeiss, nako, ang laki na pinagbago ng image quality akala mo kinuha sa isang DSLR. Not only was it sharper, much more detailed, but also yung kanyang bokeh, yung kanyang background blur ay mas convincing nung nagkaroon ng software optimization from Zeiss. Pero para sa akin, the best talaga is yung kanyang colors. Nung talaga nagbago yung naitsura, from a cell phone look to a legit DSLR look. But this time around, maraming idinagdag dito si Zeiss. Better low light, better camera features, and everything. Kaya sobrang excited ako dito. Ako, baka maihina ako sa excitement. Alam beans, parang lagi ka naman natata eh. Sa yung video, kasi yung mukha mo. Hindi <laughs> joke lang. Yan talaga lagi yung mukha ko guys. But let's focus on the Vivo X70. Kasi nga, ito talaga ang hinihintay ko. Get ready for the Vivo X70. Plus beans, and you're watching Unbox Series. Hoo-hoo. So, bakit daro yung box? Well, obviously, daro yung colors natin dito. For the first time in my video, pinagpala tayo ngayon. We get a chance to experience the black and the blue color or Aurora Dawn. And as usual, sa kanilang X-Series box, this looks to be their flagship lineup. Kapag mas malaking box, mas social. Co-engineered with Zeiss. Laka ng logo ng Zeiss, ha? Actually, yun na yung <laughs> visual setup. Sa likod, ito meron tayong dalawang color dito. Cosmic Black and Aurora Dawn. Ito na, Here is Aurora Dawn. Ganda! Woo! I have to say, mas malaki na yung camera module, no? Compared kay X60. Halos sinakop na niya yung buong likod. Ganyan siguro kung lupit yung kanyang camera. Ito naman si Black. Cosmic Black. Matte finish din. Sarap hawa ka ng likod. Ay! Nako, para mas gusto ko to. Pogi! Pogi mo! Wow! I like that matte back. Grabe, ang premium nito ha. Ito na yung two colors. Very nice. Of course, syempre may mga accessories pa itong kasama. Aba, may... Hinge na siya. Gumagano na. And, mukhang mas bongga yung kasamang accessories. And dito, first of all, jelly case. Ito na kanilang signature SIM ejector pin. Bundled with a quick start guide and the warranty card as well. And sa ilalim, secret compartment. And dito yung kanyang USB Type-C cable. And good news, finally, nag-upgrade sila ng charging speed from 33 watts ng X60, 44 watts na kay X70. Mukhang mas malaki yung kanyang charger ah. And last but not least, pwede bang hindi kasama? Ang Vivo earphones looks to be high quality. May kasama na siya ang microphone. And that is pretty much it. Ito na si X70 in two beautiful flagship black designs. Ang napansin ko lang is mas bongga, mas social na, mas flagship ang itsura niya compared kay X60. Ibang-iba na yung kanyang camera module. Mukhang gusto talaga nilang ipakita ito na isang malupit na camera phone. Pansin niyo, so kanyang camera module ay napakalaki. Halos sinisakap na niya yung likod, no? It has three lenses. Puro malaki. Ayan yung Zeiss logo with the T-Star coating. Yan yung enhancement na hinanap natin with the new X70. The T-Star coating, it allows light to pass through much more efficiently than before. Ito pala yung mga bago sa kanya sa kanyang camera. Zeiss Optics, Viz 5 Axis Ultra Stable Video, Zeiss T-Coating, Portrait Modes, Gimbal 3.0, at alam nyo ba, naka Sony Customized Sensor IMX 766V siya. Looks like the sensor was specially made for the Vivo X70 para lang mas malupit siya together with the Zeiss Optics. Camera bump niya, sakto lang. Medyo makabal lang konti. Mukhang malupit pong camera. Almost one-fourth of the back is camera. Pero the rest of the back, no? Both colors are matte finishes. Ito ay high quality na matte material. Hindi ko makapit yung fingerprint. Malinis tingnan. Lagi. Kahit anong hawak ko dito, hindi ko makapit, guys. Walang smudges. And akala ko yung black version ay kakapit siya kahit konti lang naman. Kasi nga, there are matte finishes na black in color kung makapit yung fingerprint. Pero ito hindi. But the thing is, plastic lang yung kanyang likod. I can feel it. And yung body, mas halata dito sa kanyang Aurora Dawn color. That's a feel. Ito naman black color is parang leather back feel siya. Tapos yung aura niya is parang ang premium, no? The elegance. I don't know about you, pero parang ang lakas ng dating kapag uh, ganito yung color. Pwede pala yon, Parang iba-iba na kapag uh, color lang. Tapos yung shape ng phone, nako, ang ganda. Sobrang subtle. Sobrang sleek. I gotta say, no? When it comes to design, talagang gusto ni Vivo mag-send ng message sa lahat na, uy, kami ay isang very premium brand. Partnership pala kay Zeiss. 
social na. From their entry level mid-range phones all the way to their flagship phones, talagang pang social ang itsura ng mga Vivo phones. Now looking at the sides no, simula sa taas, professional photography. Meron pa siyang microphone and light sensor ba yan? Mukhang light sensor yan. Sa right side yung kanyang power button and volume rocker. Sa left side, wala dito. At sa ilalim is yung kanyang loudspeaker, USB type support, isa pang microphone at yung kanyang SIM tray. Na merong uh, dual nano SIM card slot, syempre 5G na yan. Walang micro SD card slot which is okay lang, up to 256 na may kanyang internal memory. Marami kang pwedeng masave may install na apps and of course pang video and photo talagang tinasa niya yung storage niya kasi alam nabibaw na pang picture talaga siya pang video and photos and videos require a lot of space sa display naman ayun 6.56 inch 120Hz refresh rate 1080p AMOLED display yan um yung kanyang display is very very bright saktuhan yung colors saktuhan yung kanyang saturation not too saturated hindi masakit sa mata and it looks very smooth at 120Hz refresh rate ayun ako pag nag-swipe ka nice medyo na ko lang sa kanyang contrast sa pumunta sa display and brightness Pinalita ko yung screen color from standard, ganoon kang bright, mas gumanda yung kanyang itsura. Mas buhay yung kulay dito, pagka bright. Pero hindi over in colors, sakto lang. Yung kanyang punch hole ay uh, medyo sakto lang din. Nasa gitna ng kanyang display. That is a 32MP selfie camera, by the way. Not sure if Zeiss din yan, pero yung software kasi is co-developed with Zeiss. Tumalamas malamay yung color, is nakatune pa rin sa Zeiss. Okay, let's try it out. Ay, grabe. Oh my goodness. Why so yummy? Ang guapo. Sure ka ba dyan? Kaya lang, ba't ang dami kong tigawat ngayon? Sa camera. Pero ito, ang smooth. Ang artistahin ko dito. And check out that background blur. Wow. Solid. Since andito na sa camera, no? Okay, I just wanna try this out right now. A few moments later. Okay, so ang dami ko lang akong pictures, no? Wow. I'm so impressed. Here's the sample video coming from the 32MP camera. Zeiss Optics. Kamusta naman? Ah, yan na sinasabi ko. White balancing pa lang. Kuhang ko na niya. Tamang-tama na agad. Not bluish. Rich in colors, no? Ewan ko ba, sobrang nasahanay na ako kapag sa studio ko. Kapag ganit sa smartphone, medyo patay yung kulay. Pero ito, grabe, ang pogi ko dito. Kamusta na may stabilization? Oh! 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 No! Ha? Mm. <coughs> my beautifications video. Kamusta naman? Oh, kinis na ng mukha ko. So ito yung tura, kapag uh, portrait style of video. I'm so sexy and I know it. Ha! 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 <coughs> Ah, uh, Beans, ano ba yung kanyang processor? Hindi mo pa sinasabi. Ang kanyang processor pala ay si MediaTek 1200. May 5G na yan, mas mabilis ito guys, kaysa kay X60. Tapos ko naman is sobrang responsive niya. Maganda animation, napakabilis. Almost flagship-like ang kanyang performance. Okay, alam po na inisip nyo. Baka hindi siya ganun kabilis kasi nga MediaTek processor siya. Baka hindi ganun ka-optimized. Well, here it is. On the contrary, even though it's a MediaTek processor, it's actually well-optimized for games at napakabilis niya. Unang-una muna sa Antutu benchmark score, maabot siya ng 600,000 points. Well, actually, 678,000 points sa Antutu, which is super fast. That is almost the same performance as the Snapdragon 865 Plus last year. Ibig sabihin, it's almost flagship performance level. At itong monster speed ay pwede mo magamit sa mga games, lalo na yung mga sobrang bigat na games. Also, in your video editing, like Kine Kine Master, baka lang gusto nyo mag-edit on the go, and gusto nyo mabilis ang processor, this is fast. But anything light, no? Like Facebook, YouTube, pag na-navigate sa homepage, so ating swabi siya. But don't take my word for it. Let's check out the games. Mobile Legends, ito na. Sa Mobile Legends, wala siyang problema. Mabilis siya, maganda yung graphics. It makes good use of that AMOLED display. And napansin ko rin is, sobrang taas na kanya resolution on this game. So yes, graphically wise, maganda ang Mobile Legends nito. Maganda ang graphics. Wala rin na napansin yung lags, frame drops. Bihira lang, as in wala talaga. Napansin ko lang, medyo wide yung phone dito. So, mafe-feel mo siya. Also, hindi ko naman napansin yung kanyang punch hole sa gitna, no? Especially kapag focus na ako sa game. But yes, if you love Mobile Legends, this is really good. Very reliable, and I think mag enjoy ka dito. Pero ito na, I think ito yung kinakatakutan ng maraming tao. Yung kanyang Call of Duty settings kasi nga MediaTek processor. Hindi masyado optimized sa mga MediaTek processor for Call of Duty. Usually mga Snapdragon lang. Pero, to my surprise, these are the settings available for this phone. Very high graphics, at tumaabot ng max frame rates. Yes. At yung guardrail lang hindi mo pwedeng isabay kasama yung anti-aliasing. Nope. But nevertheless, it's pretty much all that you can have on Call of Duty. At guys, mataas din sa kanya resolution in this game. The graphics is just so crisp. Not on the same level as legit gaming phones, no? I could tell the difference. Yung mga legit gaming phones parang mukhang PC game na talaga. But yes, right here you can actually game at very high settings and the maxest. Uh, maxest frame rates. <laughs> pwede ba yan? <laughs> Or pwede bang most fastest? Ah, uh, yun lang. Isa lang yung kanyang speaker so it's not stereo speaker experience. Pero malax na rin yung kanyang speaker. Sakto lang. Not really that mind-blowing. Yung performance yun, no? It's uh, very good. Very smooth yung kanyang gameplay, no? Even though it's very high settings. This is 60 frames per second. Although, uh, wala pa yung 90 frames per second just like the other legit gaming phones. Na-appreciate ko rin yung pagka-wide na kanyang display, no? Mas parang kang pwede makita dito compared sa regular na mid-range phone. Mukhang walang problema ay Call of Duty. Okay. But, what about Genshin Impact? Ito talaga ang pang 
benchmark ng performance sa isang smartphone. Kung matagal malalaman kung mabilis talaga siya. And here it is, no? yung kanyang graphics ay uh, very good. Surprisingly good. By default, medium graphics yung binigay niya sa akin. 60 frames per second. And mukhang consistent siya sa 60 FPS. Wow. Very few games can do this. Kaya lang, no? if you're going for the highest settings possible, same sakit as most smartphones. Actually, every smartphone has this. Umiinit siya at the highest settings. And it's uncomfortable. Not recommended for gameplay kasi nga hindi ka magkatagal. But still, 60 frames per second, medium graphics is the best way to play this game. Pwede ka na mag high settings if you want the better graphics. You can do it. Pero yun lang, if you're really serious about Genshin Impact, you should go get a gaming laptop or gaming PC. Doon talaga siya pinaka-okay. Like seriously, okay. High settings, 60 FPS. Walang problema. And hindi siya iinit sa isang PC. Okay, so tapos na. Thank you, Lord. Tapos na ang kanyang boring part. Tanga! It's time for that exciting moment. Now, before I show you the pictures, ito muna yung kanyang specs. Yung kanyang main camera is the Sony IMX 766V 40 megapixel main camera. Meron pa siyang telephoto lens 12 megapixels at meron pa siyang ultra wide angle lens 12 megapixels din. So yung kanyang specs ay pang flagship talaga. Although globally hindi siya yung the best specs ni Vivo X70. Meron pa yung Vivo X70 Pro and Pro Plus. So hindi lang nilabas yung Pro and Pro Plus sa ating bansa but anyways, still lahat ng lens niya ay Zeiss camera. That is right. All of these, tong tatlo, Zeiss lahat yan. Pati ito sa rap. Yep, that's right. Meron silang Zeiss optics. Each lens is equipped with Zeiss technology at yung ginagawa nito is nire-reduce niya yung reflections, stray lights and ghosting para mas actual yung nakikita niyo especially at night time. And it's all because of this special technology that Zeiss has integrated with the VOX70, which is the Zeiss T-Star Coating. Yan yung extra layer para mas makontrol at mahandle yung light na nagpa-pass through dun sa lens. Ayun. Less glare, less reflection, in other words, less distortion and better accuracy. Meron din siya yung T-Star coating for all of the lenses. Oh, it looks like yung kanyang 12 megapixels ay yung kanyang portrait lens din, no? Up to 50 millimeters as per Vivo. That's right, 50 millimeters is the go-to focal length ng mga photographers. And with this, meron pa siya mga Zeiss style portrait. Meron siyang apat, yung uh, Distagon style. Ito yung pang Hollywood, no? You get a dreamy bouquet. Meron pa siya yung Planar style, ito yung classic bouquet with the standard background blur. Sonar style, creamy bouquet. No? Kung gusto mo medyo creamy ang uh, background blur, ito yun. Or kung gusto mo swirly bouquet, it has this biotar portrait style. Yan ay exclusive lamang kay Vivo X70 courtesy of Zeiss. So, let's check it out if it's actually good. At ito na yung mga pictures guys. OMG! Okay, so the first thing that you will notice sa uh, Vivo X70 is that talagang nag-kick in na yung kanyang Zeiss color dito. Hindi siya yung usual na Android colors na no? nakita mo sa ibang smartphone. It is much more balanced, less distorted, and it actually looks like the real thing. Not super enhanced, but at the same time, malakas yung dating ng mga subjects dito and yung kanyang background blur ay very dreamy like. May swirly effect. Masasabi mo talaga na parang DSLR yung mga photos dito. Actually, kapag ako tinanong mo, Alam ko agad kung ano yung tsura na isang picture na kinuha na isang smartphone and isang picture na kinuha sa isang DSLR. And this is making it hard for me kasi nga alam ni Zeiss yung itsura talaga ng isang kuha ng isang DSLR. The photos are mostly sharp at yung mga detalye talagang pronounced na pronounced. Kitang kita sila. Pero I guess the best of all is yung itsura ng tao dito. For example ako, ah, pogi pogi pa rin. Ah, well actually kahit anong camera yan, pogi naman ako. Pero to kasi kahit sino pwede maging pogi dito. Last mo na yun ah. <laughs> 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 Nandiyan naman kasi yung beautification, of course, on top of that. Ang sarasabi ko dito is yung kanyang background blur effect. Is nakakadagdag ng sobra dun sa kanyang image quality. And tapansin ko rin ha, very consistent yung kanyang image quality across the board. Eto kasi yan, no? kapag ka picture ka sa labas, handheld, malamang sa malamang marami kang iti-take na pictures kasi nga may mga sablay, may mga malabo, blurry. But with the Vivo X70, wala akong masyadong nakitang blur dito guys. Malinaw halos lahat, very consistent ha. Mayarap kasi ma-achieve to kapag wala kang tripod. Kailangan super stable ka para hindi blurry yung mga photos mo. But then again, alam naman ng mga smartphone brands yan na hindi naman talaga nagdadala ng tripod yung mga tao sa labas. Nagpo-point and shoot lang talaga madala sa mga tao and they need something to help them shoot consistently without any blur. At yan yung naisip ni Vivo. Nalagi na stabilization ang inyong smartphone kapag ka hinahandheld nyo siya. Nakita niyan? Ganyan po ang ating kamay. Lalo na kapag ka isang kamay lang, oh, malamang sa malamang magbablur talaga yung inyong image kapag ka ganyan kayo magpicture. So, ang ginawa ni Vivo, naglagay siya ng gimbal stabilization sa kanyang lens. And that is, meron siyang support sa kanyang lens. Check out this diagram, no? Kapag ka gumagalaw yung phone, syempre sumasabay yung camera lens. Kaya lang, dahil may support na merong gimbal stabilization feature, kahit gumagalaw yung phone, it looks like naka-steady pa rin yung kanyang camera lens. But this is not a new feature for the Vivo X70. Ang kanilang bagong feature dito is yung kanilang ultra-sensing gimbal camera. Ayun, nagsisense na daw siya ng mga movement ng tao para ma-identify at ma-stabilize lalo pa yung kanyang lens. Gumagamit din siya ng color filter array para ma-identify yung tao sa 
dilim. Kasi nga pagka dark, di ba, walang light. If there's no light, it can produce colors. But with the new powers built in, the X70, mas okay na siya ngayon. Mas reliable na, especially in low light. Speaking of low light, meron siya yung extreme night vision. Ito yung mas pinabonggang night mode. If it's super dark, it will take its time to take a picture to get the most out of the image. Meron siyang gagamitin na algorithm para makapag-put together siya na isang magandang picture sa low light. Meron din siyang super night video, no? Yung uh, malaking tulong to kapag uh, madilim. Especially pag walang ilaw, no? Pero pagka may ilaw naman ng kahit konti, kahit wala na siguro ng ganito. Pero napansin ko lang is, hindi lang siya swabbing ngayon. Mas maganda yung kanyang low light capabilities. Dati kasi sa X60, oo, medyo stable nga siya. Kaya lang, nahihirapan ba rin siya sa low light. But this time around, no? You not only get a very stable video, but also a very workable footage kapag kamadilim yung paligid. And on top of this, meron pa sila yung pinakabagong this 5-axis ultra-stable video na nagbibigay ng stabilization at a wider angle. Ayun! Ito yung problema ng mga most EIS na stabilization. Nag-zoom in, nagka-crop kasi nga yun yung kanilang way para ma-stabilize yung video. But with this one, meron siya yung bagong this 5-axis. Mas wider yung field of view nyo kapag ka nag-video kayo or nag-vlog. Mas marami na kayong pwede makita sa paligid nyo. And that's actually true sa kanyang selfie video. Tinan nyo naman yan. And dam, parang naka ultra wide angle din ako dito. Wow. This looks quite swell. This is really good for vlogging. Ay, vlogging camera. Baka naghahanap ka diyan, na ah. gusto mo mag uh, YouTube channel. Vivo X70 is the way to go. Simply because of the wider field of view, the better stabilization and the low light performance is incredibly good. Tapos may beautification pa. Ang pogi ko, 'di ba? Don't make up eh. But what about the telephoto lens? Ayun, hanggang 20 times zoom, pero yung kanyang 20 times zoom ay very stable compared sa ibang Super zoom lens. Ultra wide angle lens is also very stable, ha? Huh? Etong sample ng ultra wide angle lens video. So, there you go. Stable na stable ba? Di ba? Ang wide. And that is the Vivo X17. No, sobrang lupit ng kanyang camera. Sobrang lupit ng specs. Akala ko madilis may ako sa kanyang dimensity processor, but no. It was so impressive. But what impressed me the most is yung kanyang napakagandang cameras. And if you want DSLR level of image quality, look no further than the Vivo X70. Yung price, hindi ko pa alam. Si Vivo lang ang pwede magsabi niyan. Hindi ko pwede mag-announce. But the Vivo X70 will be launching on October 8th. Check nyo na lang sa kanilang Facebook page ang kanilang live launch on that day. At kung ako lang ka pa sa video na to, no? Gusto pa ng in-depth review ng kanyang camera? Well, of course, magkakaroon tayo niyan in the near future. Siyempre, mag-subscribe ka lang. Hit the bell icon so that you don't miss any of my great content and also the full review of the camera of the Vivo X70. That is coming right up. So, see you there. Sabins, and you're watching Unbox Diaries. Woohoo!